<laughs> Who was your first crush at Port Acting High School? The best. You go first. Lady. Jake Sinclair. Mine was Satoru Hanrahan. Two years and he didn't like me. I was like a week. <laughs> mine was Robert Stewart. Yep, and mine was Jesse Fitzgerald. What if I had to been Sam Coughlin in year eight? Probably Jess Howard. If I want. So it's like. Are you filming me? Yeah. Why are you filming me? <laughs> well, the first girl I had a crush on was back in year eight. Um, she's Eleanor. She was very attractive. Oh, well, she still is. That's 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 rude. Sorry, my bad. And um, yeah, that was back in year eight. Um, we're still good friends now. And yeah, good stuff. <laughs> but no, I'm doing this. Get yes, out of here. You have to answer it. No. You have to answer it. Oh, I'm this, this interview is called off. <laughs> I'm doing it. Hey, well. Um, I guess I kind of liked a few people in year seven. Kind of. <laughs> I'm trying to listen. Okay, but I think my very first one was in year seven. And we were in the same class. And that person was Zach Goddard. My first crush was in year seven, and I tried to steal Belinda Ellis' boyfriend, Scott Cuba. <laughs> Ellen? <laughs> My first crush was Brody McFarlane. Yeah. My first crush would have to be the school canteen. As soon as I met him, I fell in love. It was amazing. Thank you. Nicholas Pleasant. My first crush was Brody McFarlane. Uh, your first crush was? My first crush was Raquel. And you said that. That's it. My first crush was Lenza coming at you. I'm going with Lana. Have you power like every panel? Scott Kubra. <laughs> Raymond D. Oh, that's Raymond D. Oh, that's Raymond D. 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 Well, my first crush at Port Hacking was at Gina Cruz back in year seven. See, I liked her and I decided to concoct a magnificent plan to get her phone number. So in PE, I passed around a piece of paper to get everybody's phone number. It worked, I managed to get her phone number and that afternoon I sent her a text message asking if she'd be my girlfriend. The reply I got, oh, I'm not ready for a relationship just now. Oh, um, probably Rupert Keller. <laughs> My first crush was Joe Smith. Uh, well, Jesse didn't stab me, but it's probably your sister. <laughs> uh, um, as you know, I went to uh, Trinity before I came to Port Aking, and um, it was an all boys school. And my first crush was not a boy. Uh, it was a girl named Lana. Um, she's a top bird. Okay. Hi. Angus Sweeney. <laughs> Georgia. Mm, Dylan right. I think everyone knows that one. <laughs> um, Rachel Penderberry. Yes. <laughs> Our first crush was Angus Sweeney, Jordan Laveau. <laughs> well that's gotta be the beauty of mathematics. My first crush was Charlotte Hudson. Okay, Doyle because Doyle rules! Miss Worthy because she's tough. Oh. One is Mr. Rundle. It's because he's a former king of Sparta and he knows how to stab and you know, kill people. And the second one is Mr. McGrath because when zombies bite people, they turn into zombies. But when Mr. McGrath bites a zombie, they turn back into a person. And that's the truth. Now, the person I think is most likely to survive a zombie apocalypse would be Shane Barlow because not only is he the fittest bloke in the PE department, He's also the smartest. Miss Smith, because she's a tank. Oops. Mr. McGrath, because he scares me and because he's huge. And every time I walk past him, even though I'm Lebanese and I shouldn't be scared, he already scares me. And even though I'm Lebanese, and I'm Lebanese. <laughs> <laughs> no. Doyle. Why? Because he rules. <laughs> Miss Carter. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I just think she'd kick all their asses. <laughs> Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Kurt, he'll become a hair model because his hair is so perfect. Um, definitely Sean Clancy. Yeah, why's that? Dr. Daniel thinks that he's going to become famous because of the Bunnings ad. The Bunnings ad? Yeah, he's Bunnings. You know how he works at Bunnings? Oh, he's going to be on the ads. Yeah, he's going to be on those ads. Oh, okay. yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. <laughs>
Um, Henry, because he's a jock. And yeah. Dylan Lockery for his great MC performance at Reflections Night. You should be listening to this right now. <laughs> okay, Cass, who is most likely to become famous after they leave school and why? Dylan Lockery, male model okay, for life. Done. He's decent. God. <laughs> oh, good. Andrew. Probably uh, Dylan, because uh, he's you know, good at the old uh, guitar. <laughs> And uh Dylan who? Dylan Wright, look! Yeah. look Probably um Mr. Roids there, that Jesse um Fitzgerald. For overdosing on his roids. It's a bad thing. Um I would say uh Nikki Miller for her uh modeling stuff. Uh you? Yeah. Have, have a go there? Yeah. That's about it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, can you do like that? <laughs> Shut because she's going to Florida next year because she got scholarship for softball because she's awesome. I got clap. You fucked up. That was great, school captain. Oh really? Do you think it's fantastic? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have to do it again. Yeah. Oh. Oh, he's under it. Oh, I really don't know. I reckon Dylan Wright. Get the little kid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is that it? What, what for? What reason? He's gonna he's gonna be a famous singer. Do you reckon? Yeah. And Dion, right? He's gonna be. A, he's gonna be. A... <laughs> I think Wendy, because she's a great model, and she has a very good talent, and she's beautiful, and I think she's gonna be very famous in what she does. <laughs> kick ass at singing and guitar and whatnot and yeah he'll be famous. Uh, this one, Amy, I'm gonna miss her. I'm gonna miss my homie Dylan, Dylan, Tom, Lan, yo what's up dog? Yeah I'm gonna miss a lot of people, a lot of people. Some people I won't miss but, oh wait I'll miss everyone. <laughs> I'll miss everyone. <laughs> uh, probably sunny and late and all the free periods that I have just Sitting in the sun, just chilling with all the mates and that. So, that's it. Um, just old friends and stuff, you know. Should be, yeah, it'll be a bit boring, I guess. No idea. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna miss all the young years. Mm. Nothing much. It's good school. Probably, probably recess. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's about it. Though. Not lunch? Yeah, yeah, lunch too, yeah. Um, the fondest memory is when Chris Paul Hacking brings out such uh, striving students and everything. Um, you know, the fondest memories is when we have your colourful days, your colour days. And uh, you twirl, they run and actually control it. So to see that energy is probably the fondest memory of you twirl. I think probably mostly just all the funny little quirky personalities there are amongst your year group. Because seriously. <laughs> There are some funny people. There we go. My most memorable moment, my most memorable moment actually was Mitten Zerman on his, on his uh, first day here at Port Hacking. In fact, he was still in year six when his mum and sister, I think, might have forgotten him. And he was an hour after everybody else had gone, he was still here. Mrs. Carter and I were here until the very end and he was visibly upset. I'm not saying he was crying, <laughs> I'm saying he was visibly upset. That's my most, that is my most memorable time. And, that, and you hadn't even started yet. Hi, I'm Sharice, and this is my co-anchor, Simon. Simon? <laughs> um, we're here to speak to teachers and so they can tell us how much they're going to miss us when we go away and leave. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. They don't know we're, we're here and that we're coming, so we might be a bit surprised. Hello? Yep, come in. Oh! Oh! Wow! How spontaneous! 
guys. What are you guys doing here? Oh. Um, what is your fondest memory of year 12 throughout their high school career? Oh, a number of fond memories. Um, probably when I had Simon in year 9 and 10, the fun we used to have in class, yeah. joking around with them and stuff. Yeah. When Simon told me that I picked out a best book ever for him to read. Hey, Simon. Thank you, thank you. The, yeah, Simon. Simon's probably the going to be the, the biggest loss. I do miss you, Simon. Yeah, Simon. No, no, not Simon. <laughs> yeah, we just want to know what is your fondest memory of you 12 throughout their high school career? It's Brett Sullivan holding the camera right now. It's the first time I've ever seen him do any work. Ah, good, the most I can ever do. You know, there's certain personalities that you have in a classroom and the, and the kind of individual sort of uh, interactions with people. Um, well spoken, you know. Doyle. Well spoken, thank you. <laughs> See you great, great group of people. <laughs> people. Not kids anymore, people. Not kids, no. And uh, Adults, maybe. Always happy, always, nearly always cooperative. Um, I think their enthusiasm for life. My fondest memory uh, will be the uh, boys over there in the fitness gym working out with their t shirts on. <laughs> Probably my fondest memory is my year 12 dance class. Fabulous times dancing with the girls, enjoyed it a lot. Hilarious watching some of you try things. It's the day the light went on in my year 12 dance class when they realised the difference between a fiesta and a siesta. <laughs> oh, so there's a big difference between them two apparently. And well, Especially the Johnny Tanker. Yes. I would like to wish you guys all the best. Yep. Uh, at uni you. and I hope you do well in your HSC and I'll miss you guys heaps. What else? What else? And I hope that you guys do very well in uni and in your HSC marks and come to visit me later on in the years. It would have to be the marvellous students that I've been working uh, with over the last six years. I've been really fortunate to have uh, some absolutely phenomenal musicians both in the course one and the course two. Yeah. No, we're pretty sure that's Emily Stevens in there. She doesn't know we're going in, so... No, she doesn't. She's not wearing makeup. Ooh. So she must look hideous. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Sorry, wrong person. <laughs> it's not Emily Stevens in there. Um, I can remember teaching Elise geography. <laughs> Everyone remembers Elise. <laughs> I tried not to say Elise. Um, year 12 as a group. Dear God. Um, I just think... Oh. I think there's too, too many individual characters there mm. to single out too many people. They're big personalities. My class is the best. Mm. Yeah, best. Wonderful class, they're beautiful. Yeah. Period five on a Monday afternoon, mm. when you always, yes, you always misbehave. Mm. That's the best. And checking the absentee sheet to see if Jessie Faye's turned up for the <laughs> day or not. Mr. Ronald, <laughs> what I want to say, is what I want to say is this one time when I told them they had to read a novel and, um, and I went out of the room and I left them. I abandoned them all by themselves. And when I came back, I snuck in the other way and I thought they were going to be talking, but they weren't. They were all reading the book. What I'd like to say is that. This memory is a couple of lessons ago, they'd just done their practical performances and there was no getting them to start their essays. So I watched them the whole lesson as they choreographed a performance to The Lion King. Um, there was a bit of interpretive dance. Steph was doing some sort of weird dog thing across the floor. All sorts of things, but check out the video on Rachel's phone if you want to have a look. I'm going to miss the sleepless nights. Uh, what will you miss most about our, our entire year, not just Simon? Uh, probably the time off I have when you've got exams and stuff. Oh, we'll miss that too. <laughs> uh, well, look, every, every year you develop you know, um, sort of student teacher friendship type relationship, and um, I guess uh, there's some bonding that happens there, you know, and um, yeah, you do some not some good things together, like with the construction class, you know, building things around the school, and they get a kick out of that, and so do I. With your IT classes and things like that, seeing them start with a pile of timber and, and end up with a something reasonable they can take and be proud of. Yeah. The majority of you are such lovely people. It's nice. It's nice to uh, be able to work with young adults who are so very, very nice. Oh, and Sharice, because she's absolutely gorgeous and so sweet to have in the library. I just love having her in the library. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that, that.
good. Get set, get right back. Well done. Well, well said. Well spoken. Well spoken. Thank you. Now, I can Thank finish. you very much. Thank you. All oh, the gossip I get on Monday mornings of what you all got up to on the weekends. Yeah, that's yeah. good. And and their sporting talent. Teaching uh, Year 12 SLR and PDHPE. Uh, my final year of teaching. Um, what I'll miss most about you are the laughs and listening to the Year 12's gossip outside our PE window. We can hear everything you say. Uh, no, Sorry. No. <laughs> Not having my Year 11 drama class in Year 12. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, uh, no doubt the people. Uh, the year has got a great spirit. It's a great year. Happy, friendly people. Aww. You two, well, besides the fact obviously working in the canteen, seeing them coming over and eating healthy food, um, what I want to miss is just the interaction with such uh, bright students and I wish them all the best. The thing I'm going to miss most is my... my friend, the thing I'll miss most is my Year 12 class effort in everything that they do. They always do their homework, they always do the classwork, and they always attend. Miss most about Year 12 drama because that's all I've had. Definitely their excellent and collective ability to rave because they do throw a very good rave. <laughs> I'm gonna miss everyone. I love you all. Okay. I'd just like to say good luck to Mr. McGrath and Miss Vandals because personally I believe that the standard of the school is going down after we left. <laughs> after we leave, sorry. <laughs> so uh yeah, just saying, you're 11. Uh. I'll miss all you little grogs, especially you, Miss V Dolls, and I'll miss the canteen. Hey, guys, in 2011, Port Hacking High School, it's really fun. Good luck. Goodbye, Port Hacking! Andrew! Andrew! Albert Dock! Andrew! 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 Goodbye! I just want to say, you know, it was, uh, it was a pleasure being here, you know, all the teachers were great to me, I, I love them all, don't touch me. And um, yeah, Miss Spencer, you know, I'll see you later, have a good one. Thanks hospitality. No English, too shy, too shy. Yeah, Fort Hacking. Woo! Andrew, is there anything you'd like to say to Fort Hacking before you leave? Yeah, uh... <laughs> 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 Of the last few th years here, uh, things can only get better. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. Go. Bye for hacking. Woo. Okay, what's your final goodbyes for hacking? Quick, go. Bye guys, love you all. <laughs> Goodbye. I will miss you all. Especially you, Luke. See you, Darlene. Um, I don't know. What should I say? I, I like most of the teachers here. They're all right. It's a couple of fools. But they're all good. Hey, Mum. Maybe you still got that. Still yeah. got that slurpee. Yeah. Where'd you get that pretty, from? Pretty sure you went. Pretty sure Seven you left school premises to get that slurpee. I did. Yeah. Is this True. is this going on the record? Yeah. Hi, Mum. <laughs> nice. What's up, Mum? I love Michael. Hi, Mum. Yeah, Mum. This is what it's I get up to at you. school. <laughs> Whatever. I'm sorry. I don't learn. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Hi, Mum. Good banana na 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 Junior. I will miss Mrs. Royal. <laughs> no liquids in the library. Go put your bags away. <laughs> um, probably like being one of the few Asians around. <laughs> I'm gonna miss not being able to see all these beautiful. <laughs> Mr. Lee. Oh, we Aww. love Mr. Lee. 
Okay. Wait, should we say that? Yeah. He wants the best to go jump in the head. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna miss all these guys right here. Chicks. Chicks. I'm gonna miss these guys a lot. And um yeah pretty much just the boys and the girls you know. With his puppies. And the And our drama raves. And our drama raves a lot. I was like, I'm gonna miss okay. Maddie the most. Oh, and my oh, 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 I'm oh, seeing all my friends. Oh, 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 my beautiful oh, friends. Oh, you out there, kids. Lunch times, all the teachers. Yeah. And the ones I hate. I'm gonna miss you. Water pies, all that jazz. You, Sanjay. 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 I'm gonna miss Simon and Abs. Go, Simon, take shut off. Simon, take your shirt off! <laughs> Put it back on! <laughs> year 12. Well, year 12 drama. That's all I can refer to uh, because I have very little other to do with year 12. Um, I had 22 students and they were all wonderful. Um, unfortunately, we lost one of them, um, Jessica Costa. I had to leave a little bit earlier. However, um, in the end, what did I mean? What did I enjoy most? Um, well, I think one of the things that we did was taking students to NIDA and they did a fantastic physical workshop, physical theatre workshop and seeing within 10 minutes how impressive their work can be um, after doing that workshop. Um, yeah, I think that that's about my most favourite. Oh, and the things that I really, really miss, I think, will be the raves. Oh, miss, can we have a rave, miss? Miss, can we have a rave, please, please? Okay, yes, 10 minutes, and then we go back to work. Sure. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, and the, that reminds me of another one. Dum, dum, da dum, da dum, da dum, dum, dum. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. If I hear that one more time, I will remember a wonderful group performance that we had and um, we all enjoyed very much. Um, oh, and another one. Ah, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> and I think that person knows exactly who she is. Okay, Tamara, all the best to you. All. Year 12. <laughs> what I miss about year 12, I'm going to miss a very warm, thoughtful bunch of kids who have been an absolute pleasure to teach. That's what I'll miss about year 12. Okay, so, this is just my farewell message to all year 12. Um, I spoke to the others the other day about this, so I'm just going to repeat what I said. Um, I just want to say that I love you guys all so much and I'm going to be, <laughs> I'm going to miss being at school every day with you guys like crazy. These years at Port have been some of the best and worst times of my life but I wouldn't change it for anything. We've all grown so close over the past few years. We're like a family who fight and laugh all the time but know we've got each other's backs. These next few weeks are going to be so intense but we've come so far that I know we're going to do Port Proud. I love you guys so much. And this is just a quote that I found that kind of sums up our great I reckon. It's those moments when you hang in a room full of friends, gasping for breath between each laugh. Those moments when you get high off just breathing in so deep you feel your lungs getting cold. And for a split second you don't care. You don't care about school, parents, money, rules or broken hearts. You, who you care about are the kids sitting next to you. Because it's all we really need, isn't it? Those kids next to you. The ones who make you feel invincible, even at your weakest points. Bye guys.